Hi, I'm Sarah. I'm with the LAMP program, and today I'm here with Brianna Robinson. I go to Cypress Hills, and I'm in 12th grade. Thank you for being here, Brianna. Um, I'm going to ask, I'm going to ask you some questions about your home life and your school life, and how does it balance out? Hi, it's Sarah with LAMP, and today I'm here with Caleb, a senior from Brooklyn Lab School. Hi, Caleb. Thank you for coming. Okay, so my first question is, what is your school life like? My school life, it started off bad, and then it was good, and then it was bad again. I had a difficult time. My 11th grade year was one of my worst years. My mom passed away, and everything was just, like, really, really hard. I'm sorry. So, first question, what is your school life like? Mm, school school is uh, not the best place to be for me. Um, freshman year was probably the easiest and most fun year. Uh, ever since then, everything's gone downhill, all the schoolwork and extraness, teachers, drama. Okay, in like your home life, like how is it scheduled? Like, do you have like a schedule for it or anything? No, my home life is also difficult too. Like, the living situation, the vibes at home, is just all just a big mess. Okay. Okay, so how about home life? How's your home life? Um, home life is um, even worse, especially uh, seeing as last year, November, my mother passed due to a family issue. Um, and ever since then, it's been chaos because I have to look after my sisters all the time, plus balancing school. And um, my dad's usually always working, so it's like chaos, especially with like financial status and everything. It's not the best. Um, what time do you wake up and what time do you like sleep for school? I have no directed time like to actually be asleep I, don't, I just fall asleep sometimes I'd be up to three o'clock in the morning then I only have a couple hours to sleep and I try to get up at six o'clock and get ready because I'm very slow all right my next question is what time do you wake up and sleep for school uh there is no time at all seeing as um I have insomnia and I don't sleep uh, I have trouble sleeping I usually drink like two, three monsters a day because I can't sleep at night. And then during the day when I probably would have the chance to sleep, I don't because I'm usually either working school or taking care of family matters. So what is one of the biggest challenges it's about for both of them that they have in common? Okay, it's like I have problems at home. And then when I come to school, there's also problems struggling to pay attention in class Oh, I'm slacking in my grades. It's just like everywhere there's like an obstacle at home and at school is like not really a get a getaway for me. So that's understandable. Are you the oldest from your siblings? Because you mentioned I am the oldest and the only boy. <laughs> okay, so you explain to us your school life situation and what is something you would say is challenging that is in both of these basically being able to balance homework and stuff at school like basically stuff that's needed to keep my grades up on top of being able to make time to take care of siblings clean up the house that type of stuff basically just they don't balance out because it's like the assignments are needed the next day and i don't have that time because by the time i get home being as i live an hour and a half away from the school it take i get home at like five and basically that I would still have to cook, clean, make sure everybody's like showered and ready for bed and then deal with it. So do you think that um, teachers in your school, they factor in the fact that your home life is difficult or they understand and help you in any way they can? Yes, Ms. Corbin. Um, Ms. Corbin, Mr. Varghese. Miss Padilla, Stip, and Miss Walken. That's nice. Um, is anxiety, depression, does this play a factor in your home school life in any way? I won't really say anxiety, but I would definitely say depression. 
can you give me a, an example how okay so it's like you have teachers that sympathize and help with your home situations and with that and school situation um i can only name three everyone else just from what i've seen just cares about you know getting paid do what they need to do um the three is mr pearson mr schwartz and mr alicia which is a new teacher that came in just recently uh, all of them have helped me and sympathized, and they understand what I've been through. They ask me if I'm okay from time to time, and they'll always check up on me and make sure I'm okay. The, they're, ever since freshman year, uh, Mr. Pearson's always been there asking me if I'm okay, especially last year when the incident occurred. The teachers that have expectations for you that they want you to exceed even while you're going through a struggle? Um, this is just my opinion. Um, other than those three teachers, I feel like every teacher has that expectation. It's like, I'll, I'll explain to them, and it's just like, they won't take that con into consideration. They will just do what they have to do. And I always feel like there's an expectation that somebody has for me that it's like, either I reach it or I don't. And if I don't, I'm automatically seen as somebody who will never make it. Like, there's a couple teachers in my, um, where I was last year that, they uh they put a lot of expectations on and I couldn't reach it and then after a while you could tell they just gave up on me and it's just like look you're you're here to teach I understand that but could you make life a little easier seeing as I'm going through some things right now not to you know play a role of um favoritism among other students but just seeing as like life's not the easiest can you like extend a due date or something like that but um does anxiety and or depression play a factor into your home and school life in any way? Um, anxiety is a huge part as well. I don't know. It's not up there, but stress, anxiety and stress. Depression, not so much anymore. Seeing as when my mother passed, I was one of the most depressed people I've heard. Barely came to school, that type of stuff. Um, didn't want to talk to nobody. After a while, it's just like I, I learned to, you know, not get used to it because that's something I, I don't think I've ever, I'll ever be able to get used to. But it's it's the point where I realize it's something she'd want me to do. She want me to just keep going with school, do what I need to do. Anxiety is is huge for me because it's like I always have to worry about something. It's like do I have to, I have to worry about if there's food in the house? Do we have enough to get more food? I have to worry about if. Um, if my grades are good, if I have this assignment set, if I have my sisters ready for bed, if I have them ready for school, if they have school on time, make sure I get to school on time. It's just a lot going on, and then that's where stress comes in. And it's just like I'm always busy. It's, 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 I'm all over the place. Okay, so here's a question. Does anxiety and depression play a factor in your home and school life in any way? Not really anxiety, but I can definitely say depression. Depression is like one of my biggest one of my biggest obstacles for these last past two years. I have depression at home to where like it's no support and I just feel like I'm just doing everything by myself, everything is on me. And then when I come to school it's like I'm depressed about how I'm blacking in schools and I'm not doing as good as I should be because I can't focus or I don't want to come to school because I'm tired or like certain stuff like that. Or it's like I'm going to do much things, I'm emotional, so it's like, it's, it's a lot. So did your coaches ever have to sympathize or did sympathize with you because of your any home situations going on? No, because at the time, my home life and my personal life, well, basically my personal life wasn't that bad. So, and plus, I'm not a person who really shares out and tells people exactly what's going on. Okay. All right. So, do you play any kind of sports or extracurricular activities? Uh, yes. Uh, freshman year, I tried out for basketball. I made it, but then quit halfway through because I got bored. But um, I do play basketball on my own. Um. I run by myself, just run track, run local tracks and stuff. Uh, play football. Um, I dance. I've been dancing for as long as I can remember. I just took pausing intervals between like years, but um, I do dance, and um, that's about it. Um, is there anything else you want to like put in about home or school life that 
you would tell to any other kids that are having a hard time? If you're having a hard time with holding school, you just have to keep it through. Just remember that things always get better. For right now, there's a thunderstorm, but you will always receive your rainbow. Do you, what would you say to any kids or anything that are going having a very tough school life and a tough home life like as yourself? Um, for kids having a tough home life, I know for a fact if you have, I have everything down to like the smallest nail. If you have everything, it every, everything will get better. You don't have to worry worry about uh people bothering you. It just if they don't understand, it's because they don't understand. Don't try to make them understand. Um, everything will get better. Just find that one person in the school who you can talk to. Everything will get better. Don't worry about you know going into depression or stress or anything. Um, just talk to that one person because believe it or not, talking really helps. Uh, I used to think it was stupid, but I, ever since I started talking to somebody, things have been getting better. Thank you. Well, thank you. I know this is 